What's up, YouTube? Decided to get the sun in the video today. So, I've been getting asked this question in a myriad of different ways. Do you think knowledge should be withheld from people? Why is knowledge withheld from people? Why don't the people that have the answers just tell everybody and give everybody free lunch? People word this question in a myriad of different ways. So, I'm going to... I'm not going to answer this question with opinions because that's what some people try to trick me into doing. I'm going to answer this question and stick straight to the facts. Now, I told a life story, you know, my ultimate sip story, where I basically tried to take somebody that was weak and make them stronger. And I'm going to further go into that even more so in this video. So there are several important reasons as to why the people that have the knowledge withhold it from the masses. Some that are obvious and others that are going to surprise you guys. So getting right to the point, starts just getting straight to it. The most obvious reason that's not really obvious, people get angry when you tell them the truth. You take somebody that's weak and you tell them the truth, what usually happens? They get angry at you. They're ready to attack you. Now, as individuals, they ain't going to do shit because we live in a generation of wusses now. But you tell enough of the masses the truth, they don't appreciate you for being honest with them. They don't appreciate you for giving them information. Oh, no. They band together and they plot your downfall. And if they think they can overwhelm you, they will attack you. I don't have to give any personal examples because everybody that's watching this video right now, regardless of your sheep or not, You've either lived this experience or you've witnessed this experience or you've been a part of this experience. Think back in high school or when you were a teenager or even in college and, you know, out in the real world as an adult. What happens when large masses of people are told an uncomfortable truth? They don't say thank you for enlightening me. They don't say thank you for the information. No. They get angry and they band together and they try to kill the source of truth. As fucked up as it sounds, this is a major reason why people that have knowledge don't share it with the masses, especially the older people that have knowledge, because they've lived long enough to witness this happen in thousands of times. You tell sheep the truth, they get angry and they want to kill the shepherd. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. The next most obvious reason, similar to the first one, is that most people simply can't handle the truth. Most people want to have a boss, a lord, a king, a god, and a ruler. Most people don't want to have full responsibility and control over their lives. Most people want somebody else to decide their fate for them. Rather it be a divine deity or somebody in the human realm that holds a title over them that gives them the illusion of power. The reason it's the illusion of power is because people voluntarily give somebody else power over them just so they don't have to take responsibility for their actions, but they still got to take responsibility for their actions. So the bottom line is that most people don't actually want the truth. Most people don't want anything that disrupts their illusion of order and control. Most people want to be absolved from chaos. So how did they absolve themselves from chaos? They relinquish order to somebody who they perceive above them. So you tell them the truth, they'll get angry at you because they don't want the truth in the first place. The third reason, and this is a reason that is less obvious and more subtle, that information is withheld from people is because, and this is something that you only really notice if you have knowledge yourself, or if you're hanging around upper echelons of people that have the knowledge and the wisdom. And this is why I encourage people, you know, stop hanging around the sheep. You know, at some point you gotta cut off all the weak energy. I made a video talking about why you need to cut off all weak energy. At some point you need to become what you want to attract and then begin in attracting what you are. And once you hang around people that have knowledge, the top echelons of people in society, the people that got the resources, the secrets of life, etc. the common mentality among these groups that you witness, and you will develop this yourself, is, 
You know, I had to bust my ass to get to this point. I had to bust my ass. I had to go out and, and observe nature and experience nature to see and learn what I have seen and learned. Why the fuck should I give somebody this information for free when I had to work hard for it? That's the mentality that a lot of geniuses and successful people have. Their mentality is, I had to do it myself, so why would I give it to you for free when you're not doing anything for me? So, and another reason that information is withheld from people is that in combination with the three examples I just mentioned above, if you give somebody the knowledge and you don't make them work for it, they don't appreciate it, right? They take the knowledge and then they don't apply it to their everyday life because you just handed it to them for free so they don't understand how valuable it is. Versus if you go out on your own and observe nature and it becomes a part of you, it's no longer a game to where you're chasing knowledge. It just becomes a part of who you are. You're no longer chasing you're no longer searching, you're just attracting. Attracting and not chasing because it has become natural for you. It gets to the point, this is gonna sound crazy, it gets to the point where whatever you wanna learn, you learn it without even thinking about it. You just learn it naturally. It's kinda like how somebody that trains hard and consistently, they don't think, I gotta wake up and go to the gym or I'm gonna lose my muscle. I gotta wake up and go to track practice or I'm gonna lose my speed. It becomes natural for them. It's not training for them, it's just a part of their person, a part of their core. The best jobs in the world to have are jobs that for you is not work. You get out, you get up, and you enjoy doing it. The elite that rule over you it's not work for them. Let me take a sip of tea real quick. <clears throat> it's not work for them. They enjoy what they're doing. It's just a part of who they are. So, and this is something that people, especially the sheep, will never understand unless they obtain the knowledge themselves, unless they make it a part of themselves, unless it becomes a part of their core. So to summarize what I've talked about in this video, knowledge is withheld from people mostly because most people can't handle the knowledge and they'll get angry if you tell them the knowledge. Most people won't appreciate the knowledge and you know if they accept what you're saying, they won't apply it to their everyday lives. And people that have the knowledge, they feel like I worked hard to get to where I was at, so why should I give it to you for free? People get very angry at me, you know, because I tell people, whatever you want to know, skip going to man and go straight to the source. There's many different reasons why at some point, if you use man to get you to a certain point, so if you use a teacher or a coach or a book to get you to a certain point, you're going to be stuck here until you figure out on your own that eventually you have to abandon man in order to get to that next level. To get to that next level, you have to become exactly what you're trying to attract. Nikolai Machiavelli said in the book, The Prince, among the three classes of intellect, you know, those that learn on their own, those that learn through the showing of others, and those that neither learn on their own nor through the showing of others. The first is most excellent, the second is good, and the third is useless. My videos, I'm trying to encourage people to get to the excellence level, okay? Because good is good, okay? Good is like B tier, right? But when, you, when you're just good, you only see half of what's really going on. You only see the physical and not anything else, or you only see anything else and not the physical. But when you get to excellence, when you get to the A and S tiers, that's when things really start to sink in. And the things that you see at that tier will be considered insane to everybody else. So hopefully the people that have stuck around, they're no longer offended when I tell you guys to obtain your own knowledge, become excellent, go straight out to the source. I got the sun beaming on me for a reason. Go get your own enlightenment, okay? If you use man as like a stepping stone, 
if you insist on using a teacher or a book, please understand eventually you're going to have to ascend above that if you wish to ascend above what you already are. Okay? So I think I pretty much covered this video. There's a couple of more reasons as to why knowledge is withheld from people, but to be perfectly honest, I think this video doesn't need to be long. Because I think from here, you can take what I've said and go further and obtain your own knowledge. Catch you on the next video.